Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. Okay, so I'm going to try my hand at uh, responding to some fake news media jackals again. Uh, well, it looks like an Oregon county drops its mask exemption for people of color after racist response. This is by Scotty Andrew over at CNN. I show you the stupid little like, Sephiroth or something coughing, like COVID coughing. Like this is the trajectory of your, you know, germ blast as you inflict 2D4 points of virus COVID damage on, you know, innocent old ladies. Unless, of course, you are a... BLM rioter, of course. Um, we'll see what S little Scotty has to say here. Just make double share. Um, yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, it says a mask mandate exemption for people of color meant to address racial profiling concerns has been removed after racist backlash. Oregon County officials said in a statement, the expressions of racism regarding the exemption has created a ripple of fear throughout our communities of color. The very policy meant to protect them is now making them a target for further discrimination and harassment. You know, I think what's more likely is that a lot of these BLM rioters are just that. They're out there to do some screwed up shit. And yeah, they're using the COVID mask as an opportunistic sort of clearance to go do fuck shit. I mean, we have plenty of video and photographic evidence of this. And we have, you know, evidence of... Outlets like this just making up fake sob stories about racial profiling while people of color are wearing COVID masks. But really what they're doing is they're going out there and burning liquor stores and libraries. Like everything from liquor stores to libraries, these guys are burning down. So it's just like <laughs> profiling, my dude? Well, we'll continue. The county requires most residents to wear face coverings in public settings, indoor or outdoors. The locale, which is overwhelmingly white, have been one of the first places in the United States to exempt non-white residents if they fear harassment. So I guess, like, you're not a selfish, mean, old person who wants granny to die if you're a person of color. Like, the prospect, the hypothetical prospect of you being profiled because you wore a mask is more important than the grannies that we were killing like two weeks ago when we were protest when white people were protesting for their jobs back during COVID. Like I, I, CNN is just shameless, dude. We'll continue. But following the announcement, county leaders received unprecedented vitriol and horrifically racist commentary to turn the policy into one that makes people of color more of a target for harassment and discrimination. Well, how though? I mean, like, not really. We all know what we all know what the interracial crime and like vi like interracial violent crime stats look like. I mean, I would say that we're beating a dead horse, but like, I think you know, in our sort of circle, it's beating a dead horse. But there's a lot of people out there who still don't understand the way that works, you know. And and CNN will lie, you know. Lincoln County, home to nearly 50,000 residents, is almost 90% white and less than 1% bleak, census data shows, but it's also home to the Silence Reservation and a growing population of Latino residents. Many demonstrators, like this man, dude, a demonstrator, okay, as far as I'm concerned, BLM is just, it's not protests anymore, it's, there's no such thing as a peaceful BLM rally given their rhetoric, given their association with rioting, mob violence, um, people conspiring, like Vaughn Mays conspiring to make Molotov and teaching kids to make Molotov to go burn down police departments and stuff like that. You know, they burned down police departments. They've done all kinds of stuff. You know, like, this is not a peaceful protest. Like, in, and even if, even if they are visibly peaceful, peaceful, quote-unquote, I, I, like, physically peaceful, as in if they don't swing on anybody, their rhetoric is hardly, hardly peaceful, you know? But anyway, yeah, this man, the CDC recommends all Americans wear masks when they can't keep at least six feet of distance from others. I thought that the CDC and the WHO were constantly giving us conflicting information. Like, one moment, it was like, keep keep the masks on. 
be wary of surfaces because it can spread through surfaces. Then oh, all of a sudden, the mask only needs to be worn if um, you're taking care of a COVID patient in your home or at work, or if you're showing symptoms. Which basically, at this juncture, includes virtually no one. So that, that's what that's the. I mean, that's the entire like extra level of ridiculousity to this freaking article is that you know. They, they insisted that we wear these masks or you're a bad person. And now it's like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like you're a bad person because you're profiling rioters, which is not profiling. It's just like, Hey, Hey government, can you please like step forward and finally like arrest some of these people committing crimes, tearing down monuments, burning shit, assaulting people. Most, a lot of the time, clearly on camera. <laughs> I don't know. Excuse me. Country's exemption diverged from Oregon Governor Kate Brown's mask guidance, which requires residents in seven counties to wear masks in indoor public spaces without exemption for people of color. While the U.S. Centers for Disease Control Prevention recommends in April that all Americans wear masks in public, many Black and Latino Americans didn't feel comfortable following its advice. In their cases, wearing a mask could make others perceive them as criminal act criminal activists and educators told CNN in April. They are hardly uh, reputable sources, but I mean, you know, I could see anecdotally someone, you know, I, I, the other day even I was just walking around and I saw like a big burly bleak and uh, he was wearing like what appeared to me to be like a blood fucking like bandana over his face. He looked hardcore as fuck. He was being kind of aggressive too. He was like pouncing down the street, you know, and uh, it's like. CNN apparently doesn't want to bring up the fact that we've seen a lot of videos of this interracial crime, you know, situation. Uh, it's like they don't want you to have pattern recognition skills. They want to gaslight you out of having them or something. It, it, it's just really, it's very sadistic. It's very evil. Um, let's see, is this one of the activists? Okay, quote. This wearing a mask seems like a reasonable response unless you sort of take American society out of it. Trevor Logan, an economics professor at Ohio State University and a black man, told CNN, when you can't do that, you're basically telling people to look dangerous given racial stereotypes that are out there. Uh, it's just so bizarre, man. So we're going to scold the hell out of white people for not wearing the masks, and we're going to scold anyone who says that minorities should wear the masks because there's anecdotal instances of people perceiving you. As, so because you perceive that other people perceive you as a blood when you wear a freaking bandana on your face, we have to remove all requirements for mask wearing during the supposed just, just dire epidemic. Oh, all these grannies are dying. You selfish white person. I mean, this is just beyond absurd. Like, uh, it's a lose-lose scenario. Renika Moore of the ACLU's racial justice program told CNN in April, because either way, Blake Americans feel endangered. Well, maybe they shouldn't be out there, like, setting fires and shooting people. You know, those Blakes. Those people named Blake. As they have shouldered the brunt of coronavirus... <laughs> Initial data shows that black Americans are dying at disproportionately higher rates than other ethnicities. Again, see the rioting. The American Public Media Research Lab estimated that Amer black Americans' COVID-19 mortality rate is 2.3 times higher than the rate for white and Asian Americans. Isn't the death rate already like less than a 100th or 1,000th of a percent? So it's like 2.3 times higher than nothing? Oh, okay. The CDC's advice came almost two months before protests protests, peaceful protests erupted around the U.S. and after George Floyd and Breonna Taylor were killed by police, though many demonstrators have worn masks while protesting. Again, I mean, it's, it's, to conceal their ma it's to conceal their identity while they go burn stuff. And CNN, Scotty Andrew, and Oregon County, and Oregon County, you know, you're playing defense for violent rioters. And a lot of these 501c3 groups, a lot of these, a lot of these scuzzbag leftists probably post bail 
or the violent rioters, even ones who assaulted or killed people. I mean, I it wouldn't doubt it. But anyway, I don't know. Enough black pills, man. I, uh, yeah. Shout out to Adion, my new subscribe star. I messaged him the other day about, you know, stickers. Yeah, I got a new subscribe star. If you guys are interested in, uh, donating, that would be really cool. Because I just got taken down from Patreon after a hit piece from WISN 12 News. But yeah, Adion, thanks a lot, bro. I'll put your name in the, descript in the uh, description. Maybe I'll send you out a sticker if you want. Um, but yeah, if you want to see con content like this continue, please consider donating my pay, pay uh, not Patreon, <laughs> subscribe star, my PayPal, that's still up for now. Uh, the merch is down, unfortunately, but I still want to keep this thing going in some way, shape, or form. At this time, I can't really go out to the, uh, you know, I, I can't necessarily as easily do the man on the street content because of how hot it is out there. But I can t continue doing this kind of stuff. I like doing this rant kind of content, this sort of response kind of content. So if you'd like to see more of that, throw a buck into the hat and, uh, yeah, thirst out. I'm trying.